Hi everyone, welcome to another video on accumulation data analysis. So in my method, as you guys would have seen that I combine three different things to kind of arrive at a conclusion whether we are moving up or whether we are moving down. So the three that we look for is the charts that is the candlesticks and then also in the chart itself we look at the momentum plus the data. So what the data does is it kind of gives us a confirmation as to whatever we are seeing on the chart is right right because many times what happens since everyone is seeing the same charts until and unless the data kind of supports sometimes they can even fool you wherein the charts look good but if the data is not supporting or let's say if the there is a breakdown but then the charts are uh, showing you that there is bearishness but the data is very strong we kind of tend to move higher right so when you combine both you come to a I mean the probability of you winning goes even higher and in case if there is someone who kind of wants to learn this method that I use you can ping me on my Twitter profile or even comment on the YouTube thing I will uh, guide you right so let's start with the FII activity so the FIS have actually gone ahead and bought almost 2000 crores worth of equity shares today right in the cash segment right uh, but if you look at in the FNO segment in the FNO segment even there they have kind of cut their shots so that is also a positive thing right so the FIS look pretty positive especially after the Fed which kind of uh, guided that they will be cutting rates in September so looking at all this looks like there is still more steam left especially in the large caps they should move higher from here now let's uh, move on to the US market and see what the Dow did after the Fed decision yesterday yeah so the Dow, as it was continuously moving up from here, right, it has given us a bearish candle. So this one is a shooting star candle, right, which is a bearish one. So chances are that this rally that happened, right, it was already taking into account that the Fed is going to guide that from September, they are going to cut it. So in that case, chances are we might start to cool off also. So this support should hold around these levels in case if it does not, then it there is a sense that there is even more pain that is going to be there in the market right especially in the us indices but as of now the data especially in the mid caps and the large cap is not really pointing at that but we have to wait and see whether it actually happens that is the us starts cooling off rapidly now let's move on to the nifty 100 chart so this is the nifty equal weight chart as you can see it has kind of broken down probably doing a small retest today i feel that because today's data and also let's say the fi buying which is still continuing i feel that we might even move up or consolidate around these levels right i don't see a big downfall coming in un unless there is a big crack coming in the us markets right because usually what happens if the big guys know that the bonds are going to bond deals are going to cool off right bond prices start moving up let's say a hundred rupee bond hundred dollar bond right at five point five dollars right interest rate if the interest rates start moving down then the bond price start moving up right so a lot of money starts flowing into bonds whenever we see that the fed pivots that is the fed starts cutting rates right so as of now from september chances are sep the fed starts cutting rates if they do then chances are money starts moving into bonds that means money starts moving out of equities probably a few of those big guys can even short the equity market because they know for sure that the equity market anyways cools off when there is a rate cut that comes in right so we'll wait and see whether what the dow does but as of now the indian markets look pretty decent now let's look at the large cap momentum today so the large cap momentum actually saw a fall today a small fall that kind of came in right so although we were continuously moving up but now it has started to cool off let's see one just one day of uh, uh, momentum cool off would not really be that alarming until we see a continuous two days of cooling off then we might be a little concerned saying that probably the nifty is also going to correct but as of now looking at the fii data it does not look so right let's look at the fii uh, large cap accumulation 
The large cap accumulation looks pretty good, right? If you look at the average, we were somewhere around these 10, 15 levels, but today somewhere around 18, which is pretty good. So in the top 100 large cap companies, right? Most 18 stocks had pretty decent accumulation as of today. So looking at that, uh, I don't see much worry for the large caps as of now because the data is good. The momentum, although it is there is a small slow, uh, slowdown happening there in the momentum after this continuous move up, but the FII activity also points at probably there is some more steam left. Now let's move on to the mid caps. So the mid cap chart right had a bearish candle today, more of a bearish engulfing that happened, right? So this particular candle more of a bearish engulfing that has happened today, right? Which is kind of a bearish one. So in that case, like I told yesterday, also we might correct to these levels, right? A small pullback and then we start moving up, right? Let's look at what the data and the momentum are saying that will give us more clarity about what exactly we can expect from the mid cap stocks. So even here in the mid caps, right, the momentum was continuously increasing. But since the last two days, right, it has started to cool off a little, right. So momentum is showing that there might be a little cool off. The chart is showing that there is a bearish candle. Momentum is showing there is a little cool off. Let's look at what the accumulation is saying and from there what we can decide. So the accumulation, right, like I pointed out yesterday, it continues to improve. So in such cases, what do you do with the charts are not supporting the momentum is also not that great, but the data is pretty good. So in that case, you would wait, right? You would know that there is no major fall that is coming in, you would wait. And then once the charts also become positive, you would want to start trading again, right? Starts or let's say the momentum starts building up, you would again want to trade. But as of now, I don't see a big fall that is coming in because of this, as the data is pretty good. Right. So let's move on to the small caps. So in the small caps, right, like I had even told yesterday that there is some cool off happening. So even today, there is like a pretty decent cool off that has happened in the small caps as the momentum was hitting the resistance level that is previously also from where it has cooled off. So looking at this, small caps definitely are in a slowdown, especially the momentum. And also let's move on to the accumulation. From there, we would come to know what exactly the accumulation is looking like in the small caps. So even the small cap accumulation continues to slow down further. So now that the momentum is also down, the accumulation is also down. Like I told yesterday also, I would not really be aggressive buyer in the small cap stocks, right? because it is the large money is targeting the large caps and the mid caps as of now. So that is where you would want to be playing as of now and not really looking at the small caps. Let's look at the distribution data also. So the distribution data is still around the same levels. I would not read much into it. I don't see that there is a big distribution that is happening, especially in the large and mid caps. Most of the distribution that is coming in is usually I mean, as of now is in the small caps. So small caps is where the pain is as of now. Let's look at both the best performing sector as well as the worst performing sector and what we can uh, do with those indices and the stocks. Then. So the best performing sector here, here is the uh, Nifty Energy Index, which has kind of gone up almost close to 2% today after having a clear breakout around these levels. So in that case, the RSI looks a little heated. In such cases, you might come down to retest this and again go back up. But energy looks like a pretty decent bet as of now, looking at how the charts have broken out and also hitting new all time highs. Now let's look at the worst performing sector today. So the worst performing sector today was the Nifty Realty, which is the real estate stocks. So here, after doing this retest on the budget day, right, we had a small bounce. But now what is happening is we are making a lower high and starting to reverse from there. So in case if we go down lower, then we start making lower high and lower low formation, which is not that great for the real estate stocks. So in that case, all your real estate stocks plus all your real estate proxies for so let's say your tiles, right? even for some of those things, cement, right? Your plywood, right? All these stocks paint, right? All these stocks would be under pressure if 
real estate start schooling off so this uh, has more to do with the indexation thing right after the real estate sector saw pretty huge uh, run up right from almost levels of 500 to 1200 that is close to let's say more, more than double in the last two years now it has started to cool off and that cool off will definitely have an effect on even the proxy names in the real estate sector hopefully this helps i'll see you after tomorrow's video tomorrow i feel since it is a friday if the dow kind of closes lower we might be under a little of a little bit of pressure but nothing to be really worried about because the large caps and the mid caps show decent data and maybe a small pullback might happen but nothing to be really worried about the more pain is in the small cap stocks you would want to trail them i mean uh, trail your stop loss there and not really trade without a stop loss in the small cap stocks hope this helps thank you